Everyman Driver Nation. Welcome inside the 2015 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. I'm Dave Erickson, and we are here at the 2015 Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition. And we have a uh, an airstrip in front of us. This is uh, a closed course just for us, so we can test four different elements of this vehicle on this course. That's going to be a backup parking test, as well as a slalom cone test, braking, and then acceleration. I haven't been in, the, in a 4Runner for a while, maybe 13, 14 months, and I know how that last one went, so this will be a little more controlled, and we've got some great conditions today. Tomorrow, we'll be going off-road, but today, let's get going. So what do you think of the cabin here? We've got a 6.1 inch touchscreen here, colorful. There's also uh, stuff here on the side that you can do some adjusting, but you gotta like the touchscreen, don't you? Down below, you got your climate control options. Over here, instrument cluster, nice and wide. Steering wheel mounted controls. Bluetooth right there. Different four wheel drive options. Looking good. Tell me what you think in the comments section below this video on the interior of the 2015 Forerunner. All right, our first test is the backup camera test and the sensors surrounding this vehicle. You know, a lot of vehicles nowadays have all these great radar and sensors on the bumpers, fenders, wherever you want to put them, just to for the best safety possible. So we're going to back up in between a set of cones. There's even a blow up. A dinosaur behind us as kind of a you know a person or in this case just a an object or obstruction we'll see what it looks like here as we get in position pop it in reverse there's our camera and our sight lines you see different get different colors there we'll line up directly to t-rex pretty close see if we hear any alerts No alerts. Maybe we'll just kiss his nose. Boop! <laughs> All right, there you go. That's what it looks like. Next up is our cone test, slalom. We'll see how this goes. This is not the kind of type of vehicle you would expect would do well. Probably a high centered, but we'll see. We'll probably keep it at 20 miles per hour and see how it does. Yep, a little floaty, top heavy. But at 20 miles per hour, that's good. I wouldn't go any faster. And I think once you get to a point where you're doing this, you're probably going too fast anyway. All right, now our brake test. We'll try to get hit 40 before we slam on the brakes. Wow, the front really grabbed. But you know, compared to other stopping distance vehicles, this did really well. And I, I was at 40 miles per hour. All right, let's see how much... Uh, torque and power we can get out of this on our acceleration test. Line her up. Three, two, one, punch it. Ooh, that's a nice, nice kick to the beginning. 5,000, almost 5,500 RPM. We'll stop right there around 50, uh, 50 miles per hour. Not too shabby. The real test with this 4Runner, of course, will be tomorrow when we go off-road. That'll be the good one. And we will have an entire playlist dedicated to our time here at this event on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I do thank you for subscribing, supporting us, leaving comments in the section below, thumbs ups, construction, constructive criticism. And uh, we do a lot of stuff on Facebook too. So if you haven't liked us on Facebook, that's a good place to do it. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.